Welcome. We're excited to share information on the county's plans for roadway improvements along Dorset Road in West St. Louis County. In this presentation, we'll review the project location, the existing conditions, the proposed improvements, the project timeline, and the budget. This project is located along Dorset Road from Marine Avenue to McKelvey Road. Those limits are shown in red. The project improvements are roughly 1.2 miles in length. This corridor ranges from a two-lane to a five-lane section of roadway. The current pavement is in poor condition and needs to be resurfaced. In addition, the sidewalk along the north side of the roadway and intermittent sections of sidewalk on the south side of the roadway are narrow and they must be upgraded. This will enhance safety for pedestrians and cyclists. By the way, two pedestrian injuries have been reported along this corridor between 2015 and 2019. To improve the corridor, the proposal includes pavement repairs, resurfacing, and a new 10-foot wide shared use path for pedestrians and cyclists. This is actually part of St. Louis County's action plan for walking and biking. There will be additional pedestrian improvements, such as improved pedestrian crossings, and ADA compliant curb ramps and sidewalks along the corridor. These improvements are intended to improve safety and they will help users get around. As this slide shows, the project will begin at Marine Avenue. Improvements will include a new 10 foot wide shared use path on the north side of Dorset Road, starting at the streetcar drive intersection. Minor widening of the pavement to the south will be required to avoid costly northward extension of an existing culvert that is just east of the streetcar drive intersection. Please look at the legend on the upper right of the slide for an explanation of the colors that were used. The shared use path that has been proposed will continue on the north side of Dorset Road as the project moves east. Minor widening of the pavement to the south will continue as shown here to accommodate existing ground topography and minimize the project cost. The shared use path continues eastward along the north side of Dorset Road and pavement widening is no longer needed. As this slide shows, the path continues eastward along the north side of Dorset Road and new guardrail will be installed along the roadway. Protection will be installed on the back of the guardrail post to prevent injury to pedestrians who are using the shared use path. This slide shows the proposed shared use path continuing east and shifting farther away from the road from Garden Lane and Pheasant Run Drive due to the existing ground topography. Details regarding the connection of the shared use path to the existing sidewalk west of Pheasant Run Drive are still being determined at this time. On this slide, the proposed shared use path continues east and it returns closer to Dorset Road. Details regarding connection of the shared use path to the existing sidewalk east of Pheasant Run Drive are conceptually shown here. In addition, the pavement resurfacing will end at the mill and overlay limit. This slide represents the shared use path continuing east to Dorset Road. A retaining wall will be needed to install the shared use path at the flats at Dorset Ridge, and this is due to the existing ground topography at that location. And finally, you can see where the project ends at McKelvey Road on this slide. ADA improvements will be needed on the northwest corner of the McKelvey Road intersection to accommodate that new shared use path. Here's a look at the timeline. The county has recently begun design engineering and it has finished the conceptual phase, which is being shared as part of this public outreach period. The design will continue through 2024, where we'll reach the right of way acquisition phase. That is scheduled to begin in 2025. After the necessary right of way has been acquired, the design will be finalized and the project will be bid in 2026 with construction planned for 2027. When it comes to the anticipated total cost of the project, it is approximately $5,370,000. That includes design engineering, right of way acquisitions, project construction, and inspection costs. The county did apply for and was awarded a federal grant to complete this project, 
and that grant covers approximately 45% of the total cost, which is about $2,395,000. Thanks so much for watching this presentation. For more information, please visit our webpage via the QR code. We're excited about this project and we look forward to delivering it on time and on budget. And now we welcome any questions or comments that you may have.